What's going on, Vol fans? More importantly, what's going on, Gator Boo and Augusta Gator? Vols swapped 31 to 17. Man, what an ugly, ugly, ugly loss for Tennessee. Six turnovers. It, oh my God. Nathan Peterman looked awful, as I thought he would. I uh, hate to say I told you so, but I did. Peterman was horrible, so it was, I mean, Worley wasn't that much better. But, what are you gonna do? Uh, obviously, Butch Jones doesn't want to play these freshman quarterbacks for some reason. And uh, Tennessee paid for it, six turnovers, it was bad. I mean, it was just, just bad. Uh, of course, Florida's defense was was really good, you know. Easley's a beast, uh, perfect for the time. I hope he's. I bet. I hope our Parafoy, excuse me. Hope he's back. Hope uh, uh, Heresy or whatever that guy's name in the, in the secondary. You guys got studs. If you guys didn't already know that, so I keep adjusting this. But you guys beat Tennessee 14 points again. Ninth straight loss. Um, yeah, the rivalry's uh, definition is you guys are the hammer, we are the nail at the moment. You know, the thing about it is, though, is at least the one thing I saw was I saw fight. I saw a lot of fight in there. Um, quarterback deficiencies aside. Sorry, yeah, it's rainy as shit out here. Um, you know, quarterback deficiencies um, I'm hoping maybe this will finally just let Worley play this year let those two two freshmen redshirt and have them ready for next year because obviously that's what's going to have to happen uh, like always in a Tennessee game and Florida game you guys uh, Florida you guys always have somebody step up and that backup quarterback you got I thought when Driscoll went out, I was like, oh no, this could this could be the shot. This could be the chance. This could be what, what Tennessee needs to actually win a game. And uh, crud, I forget what his name is. Um, but that guy comes out there and he plays a hell of a game. I think he played better than Driscoll that could have ever dreamed of out there. Um, Hit some solid passes, had some drops that the that the receivers should have caught for him. Uh, Patton with a 52-yard little wide receiver bubble screen out, housed it. Uh, you know, you guys uh, executed better. Tennessee, their defensive ends do not seal the corner at all. Um, Corey Breen, Corey Miller, just. They, they crash too hard inside at all times. And it hurt Tennessee today. It hurt them bad, folks. It hurt bad. Uh, but Tennessee did fight. You know, they were fighting. They had a chance. And then Worley throws two interceptions. Uh, but looked better than Peterman. Uh, he did drive the ball down that one that after that targeting penalty that was, was clearly a targeting penalty. I don't know if – I don't agree with ejecting the guy. Um, but if that's what – I mean, that, it was a break for Tennessee. It did get him up uh, close to two touchdowns away. Um, which by that time, I mean, the game was still kind of in the balance. Not really, but kind of. And uh, – Tennis, I mean, Florida's defense just going to have another beat us. And, you know, but that's the one thing I was happy about seeing Tennessee fight. Tennessee fighting to, to try to win. Finally trying to break that Derek Dooley crap off them, trying to shake that crap off, which will help them uh, down the road. Um, and of course, next week being uh, South Alabama and then a bye week. And then playing Georgia, which Georgia looks really good. Um, 
hopefully, maybe, since it's at home, we can catch them slipping. But, uh, you know, Florida pulls out the win. They, uh, they improve. Tennessee goes to 2-2. Two and two. and uh, congratulations to Gator Boo. Uh, dude, you know I love you. I just, I just hate losing to Florida. I hate losing to Florida, and I just, I hate dealing with it. But one of these days, we'll finally beat you guys. Maybe next year. It's always next year. There's always next year for the Vols. Um, now I know how a Cubs fan feels. Anyway, Channel 3 signing out. Congrats, Gators.